how to replace your collet in the Presto high-speed handpiece. This demonstration is going to take you through how to replace the collet in the Presto high-speed handpiece. Um, you're going to need a new collet if your handpiece won't hold the burrs. If your turbine seems to be running okay, but the burrs come out on you after a lot of use, then you're going to need a new collet. So the process to change the collet is pretty simple as long as we follow the steps. So let's take you through those steps now. First thing I have is I have my Presto handpiece here and the dummy burr is in the turbine. I'm going to take my cartridge wrench and I'm going to loosen it counterclockwise. Just put it on the front tabs here on the turbine. Break it loose and then I can continue to thread it off with my fingers. What that does is that separates the turbine cartridge from the handpiece. So let's just get the handpiece out of the way here. We're just going to be working with the turbine because we're going to replace this collet that's up inside the turbine, the actual part that holds the burrs itself. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hold this black, the black rotor here, the plastic rotor with my fingers, and I'm going to use the little wrench that came with my handpiece and I'm going to loosen the nut here on the front of the collet. There's little flats right here on the very front of the collet. I'm hoping you can see this good, but you gotta get the wrench on those little flats and it'll break loose just the same way that the, the turbine did from the handpiece. So we put the wrench on those flats, twist it to the left, and all we're doing is we're taking off a little nut here. And once I get it started to come loose, I'm just going to hold the nut with my fingernails and I'm going to just th turn the cartridge itself, the black ring here on the back of the black plastic rotor, and that's loosening the nut. I like to try to do it with the dummy burr in the turbine because then it keeps all my parts together. They slide right over the burr. So here we have the nut coming off first. That's the little nut here that we're talking about. It's very tiny. And then we got an even smaller part called the guide bush. Don't lose the guide bush. That's a very important part. So we have the nut here and we have the guide bush right next to it. Again, I'm hoping you're seeing this good, but you have the nut, the guide bush, and before your collet comes out. Then your collet will come out of the tool. Now it's a little bit hard. Now I can't get the, the collet out of the tool or out of the old chuck itself because this chuck's not worn out. If yours is worn out, the burr's probably going to come right out of it. But this one's a good one, so I'm just going to push it on the bench to kind of pop it out of there. Actually, a better way to do it, I'm just going to thread it back in the handpiece here and push the burr out. Again, yours will probably come out a lot easier because if you're replacing the collet, your collet's going to be worn out e anyways. So at that point we can just pull that out and we've got to get that old collet out of there. So from the back of the turbine, I just turn the turbine back around so we're seeing the back and I take our, our dummy burr and just push it through the back bearing and that pops the collet out the front. So as you can see my collet just came out of the front of the turbine. So there's the collet that I've taken out. Now I get my new collet that I'm putting in slide it in the front, just put it in part of the way with your fingers, take your dummy burr, slide it back in, and as you push the dummy burr in, it'll really snug it up and push that collet into place. Then don't forget the guide bush, that's the tiny little part that we took off there, we're sliding it, I'm going to use it with the dummy burr, I'm going to slide it right over the end of the dummy burr, and then I'm going to take my nut that goes on the top and also slide it over the dummy burr. At this point, it's just a matter of holding the nut with my fingernails and getting it to thread back onto the turbine itself. So I'm going to hold the nut here with my fingernails and I'm just going to turn the black rotor here on the back clockwise, tightening up that nut. As soon as I have that nut snugged up pretty good, I'm going to just take my wrench and just snug it up just a little bit more. That's the process right there of replacing the collet. So now our new collet is in the turbine cartridge. And now all we got to do is put the cartridge back into the handpiece. 
I showed this in another video, but what I'm going to do before I put the turbine back into the handpiece is I'm going to reach in here with the dummy burr and pull the O-ring out from inside of the handpiece. I'm going to then take my O-ring and put it on the back bearing. So I just stretched it around the back bearing. So here I have my turbine and I have my back bearing and I just put the O-ring on the back bearing that was down inside the handpiece. This makes sure it gets set right in the right place and also makes the cartridge go in the handpiece better. We're going to then take and thread the cartridge back onto the handpiece. Use our cartridge wrench that came with our tool and just barely snug it up and we're ready to go again. So that's the process of replacing the collet in the NSK Presto handpiece.